something different from professional indemnity and this is regarding a sort of a term insurance which was started way back in 2004 by these two gentlemen and supported by these gentlemen and um, then after that it has uh, you know grown quite a lot from that time and it was basically aimed for all ratified AIOS members and uh, they have to pay one time admission fee for entry and then yearly contribution is required and death is covered for all the causes except suicide and homicide and this is how it has evolved you know initial part there was a lot of uh, enthusiasm and in the first four or five years it reached up to you know 25 2700 and then after that there was a sort of a plateau because perhaps uh, awareness was not that much and then there was a very slow pace Last year, we had a very high growth. We started increasing awareness programs, the webinars, and then we also started some schemes. And then, uh, you know, in the year 2017-18, it was there were 98 members that were enrolled in one year. In the year 2018-19, 86 members got enrolled. In the year 2019 to 2020, 124. And last year, we had 416, actually, it's not 5, 416 members that got enrolled because uh, of increasing awareness and because of... Uh, a couple of schemes that were launched and this scheme has grown quite a lot when it started in the year 2004 the benefit that was given was only 50000 it was it was uh, you know the benefit was given to the families of uh, deceased uh, fbs member and it was only 50000 and it has grown 46 times over the last uh, 15 16 years and now it is 23 lakhs that we are giving and hopefully uh, we are hoping that we may increase it further now at this point of time till uh, evening today we had the last membership number of 4353 the current active members are 4068 the expired members are 199 so 199 members have been given the mortality benefit total terminated members are 79 total exit members i'll come to the exit scheme and so there are seven and the debt benefit is 23 lakhs and the yearly contribution currently is rupees 600 600 per day so this is a promotional video that we have made to all the uh, aios members how to dear friends a member of fps we all have a responsibility towards our family and the family benefit scheme of aios is a scheme which cares for the family of its members. It's very easy to become a member of FBS. Currently, there is facility for you to become a member online through the FBS website by just a click of the mouse. You just have to keep a few documents ready with you like ARS membership certificate, the proof of residence, proof of age, your photograph, your nominee's photograph, your nominee's Aadhaar card, and a medical certificate stating your well-being and a self-declaration regarding absence of any severe and terminal illness on a notarized paper, which you, you can get online. You can go to the website, click member zone, then click online membership form, fill up the form, upload documents, do the payment, and that's it. It just takes about 10 minutes for you to become an FBS AIS member and secure your family's future. Thank you. So this is what is the exact procedure of becoming a FBS AIS member. So you have to be a ratified Indian AIS member. And then this proof of AIS life membership, proof of age, proof of residence, medical certificate, and a self-declaration on a notarized affidavit and the nominee details. Currently, the upper age limit for joining is 49 years. Now, initially when it was started, even uh, somebody who was 75 years of age had joined then we over the last four three four years we have worked quite a lot with the actuary and they stated that we have to cut down the upper limit uh, upper age uh, limit because otherwise the health of the society will suffer the average age is very high and over the last four or five years wherein the upper age has been reduced the average age has also reduced quite significantly which was 60 plus initially about uh, it was 60.2 five or something and then now it has reduced down to 54.5 and hopefully in the next four or five years we are hoping that the average age will come down to 49 which the actually has stated as a very healthy average age uh, for running the society now this is the payment that is required the admission fee for under 30 years was 5000 then it was 8000 for 30 to 35 20000 for uh, 35 to 40 40 to 45 was 30 and 45 to 49 was 40 and then you have to pay 60 600 per death every year uh, depending upon the number of deaths you have to pay do the yearly contribution so we thought that this amount which is you know uh, uh, 
20,000 and the 8,000 for young ophthalmologists, many young ophthalmologists, they came to us, they told that this amount is quite high. And there is definitely a risk of young ophthalmologists also to suffer an accident and the kids are small, there's uncertainty. I mean, I'm not going to tell that this, uh, God forbid, shouldn't happen, but life is definitely unpredictable. So we have to be prepared for it. And uh, that is why we wanted more and more young individuals to get into it. So first of all, what we did that we removed that medical certificate thing from the doctor and only self-declaration required up to 40 years of age. And then after that, we reduced the admission fee. We started the young ophthalmologist scheme, wherein those who were less than 30 years, who were paying 5,000 for admission fee, it was reduced to 2,500. So 50% cut down was done. Those who were paying 8,000, again, they were reduced. It was reduced to 4,000. And those who were paying 20,000 between 35 to 40, it was reduced by 60%. And they were paying, they started paying 8,000. And there was a good number of, and that is what, that is why it resulted in an addition of good number of members last year. We had about close to 190, 195 uh, members joining through this scheme last year. Then again, we thought that it is time. And, and, and the, why I'm telling this thing is that FBS is run by its own members, or by AIS members. So it is a dynamic scheme. And we thought that it is time that we have to help our own members uh, in these tough COVID times because COVID pandemic had a huge personal and financial impact on all the ophthalmologists, on our you know healthcare givers, healthcare providers, and that is why FBSAI was thought after discussing, after having multiple meetings, we thought that we have to cut down the admission fee. And if we are cutting down on admission fee, then we have to do it heavily. So we have to do it quite significant. So. Even on the young ophthalmology scheme, people who were paying 2,500, now the, the admission fee has been cut down by more than 80%. Now see, the point is this, that every year, suppose N number of uh, members die, suppose 10 members die, then we have to pay to the family members. So the yearly contribution cannot be cut down significantly, but the admission fee can be cut down in order to support our ophthalmologists in these tough COVID times. And that is what we did. So now for the next Three months, we have launched this new scheme wherein um, an AIS member who is less than 30 years who had to pay 2500 in the young ophthalmology scheme for admission will just have to pay Rs 499. It is more than 80% cut down. Those who are 30 to 35 and who were paying Rs 4000 now they have to pay only 799. And those who are paying 8000 between 35 to 40, they have to pay only 1599. And, and between 40 to 45, we thought that it's fine that we are supporting our young colleagues who are less than 40, but even those who are between 40 to 49 who are eligible for FBS AIS membership, they are also suffering because of COVID. The financial suffering is there. So we worked on that as well. And between 40 to 45 who are paying rupees 30,000 for admission fee, we have cut it down to 5,999. And between 45 to 49, those who are paying 40,000, it has been cut down to 7,999. So it is more than 80% cut down on the admission fee. So it is it is huge cut down for, for and, and we have based on the advice of the actuary, we had to start it as a scheme only. We have started it for three months and uh, whether the finances will support later, we don't know. But at this point of time, definitely we would like to help our members to, to, to you know, avail the benefit of this wonderful scheme. And another thing that we have done is that those young members who are becoming AIS member, they have to pay a substantial amount to become a AIS member, life member. So we thought that, you know, at the time of admission to the AIS, if they just pay rupees 299 extra, they will be given FBS membership as well. And they will be kept in the young ophthalmologist scheme. So this is nothing. Actually, you, you, you'll just get a couple of burgers for 299 and, uh, and you are, you know, availing the benefit of uh, FBS AIS scheme. So that is something which we, we did because we thought that, you know, we can cut down our admission fee and we can help our members. That is the way we have to, you know, move forward. And this support cannot be forever. So this has to be a time bound. So we want the members to avail for the next three months 
this is an absolutely neg negligible nothing peanuts for becoming a member of fbs aios and uh, I'll, i'll just tell you uh, yesterday we had a meeting we had a webinar with the kerala uh, society for ophthalmic surgeons and we had a young of the uh, yeah. good evening sir thank you for giving me an opportunity be, to be on this panel today uh, so can you am i am i audible sir absolutely yeah. yes so i have been an fbs aios member since 2015 sir uh it has been 6 plus years i have been paying my dues so i joined at the age of 29 uh That's and wonderful. now yeah and now i am 35 so the reason why i joined at early age was sir uh, that i had just completed my post graduation and i started my family with a kid and uh, with the long term fellowship plans for in the future with an unstable income or an unsteady job so i just gave a thought like how could i secure my family if something happens to me uh, so when i uh, of course my husband was doing his part also his part of responsibility but i thought what i could do uh, to help him out okay. so i came this across the scheme uh, of family benefit uh, scheme uh, which was i think was not the best schemes where in which i could invest in so the first reason was that it was a very minimal investment which i have could do with the maximum returns so compared to the other uh, insurance schemes or policies where i had to pay a hefty amount uh and the second thing was that uh, it was it was coming from a very reliable source and an organization uh so i was assured that my family would get the benefit from a very reliable organization and which could be a hassle free procedure as well so this was the main reason why i joined very early and uh, and i think all the young ophthalmologists should join uh, this at this time it's a very good offer because when i joined uh, i had to pay admission fees of 5000 and now it is like 80% uh, uh, slashed out it is just 299 it's a very golden opportunity for all the ophthalmologists especially the young ophthalmologists uh i think uh, they should join the scheme to not only benefit their uh, family but as well as the other families and uh, i think they should not wait uh, to grow old to join the scheme so this sir. was the opinion of uh, one of our uh, young colleagues and uh, she told that uh, uh, it is basically being run by our own members by our own seniors so i can rely on this scheme. and uh, what happened that you know in such meetings you know in one of the meetings i was uh, just display showing the 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 fbs i was scheme I, i had just put one slide i was presenting something else but in the end i just showed one slide that this is a very good scheme and you can join in and i had just uh, taken over as secretary of uh, fbs so a couple of members came and they told that my son is in us right now and he doesn't need this uh, this money but do i have to die to give this money to my wife can you do something so that i can get something at an old at at old age wherein i do require money because i i i feel bad i don't i feel a little awkward in asking my son uh, for money so can fbs do something and then we had multiple discussions and then we came out with this exit scheme now exit scheme is a there are two types of exit scheme one is short term exit scheme and the other one is long term exit scheme now in a short term exit scheme those who are members for 12 years from the date of joining those who are members for 12 years they are eligible and they should be more than 65 years of age there should be a definite valid reason for exiting in a year we don't want too much of exodus so we can allow only 12 members this is again based on the actuary's advice and first come uh, first service uh, you know first serve basis will be done and rupees 4 lakhs will be given to that uh, member now i'm telling you people who have joined fbs since 2004 and if they are paying till now they haven't paid for more than 1.2 lakhs except last year wherein because of covid there were huge number of deaths and people had to some uh, people had to pay members had to pay 20000 rupees every time it is always less than 10000 6000 7000 5000 sticks like that so the average payment is much less so again it is more than three times what you have paid for this time so that is a reasonable amount and what we do is that we we calculate based on the amount that we are asking from members so each member will pay rupees 100 now right now we have 4068 active members so we are in a position to pay 4 lakh rupees if we will have 8000 members then we will be in a position to pay 8 lakhs for a short term benefit and in a long term benefit somebody who is uh, for 20 years somebody who has joined like samyakta joined at the age of 29 and in 20 years that is at the age of 49 she will be eligible for long term exit scheme and believe me by that time if we have 8000 active members and each paying 2 200 rupees then she will be getting 16 lakhs 
uh, as an uh, exit scheme at the age of 49. So that is the big advantage and no term insurance on this earth provides this exit scheme. Term insurance means that you have to die to get the money. But in FBS, because it's a dynamic scheme run by ourselves, run by our own members. So that is why uh, it provides. So the question is why we should join FBS because it is a hassle-free uh, joining. In 10 minutes, you can join. Your family is supported. It is run by its own members. It is a society by the members, for the members, of the members. And that is why you just have to pay a small amount yearly. And that is it. And you will be getting, at this point of time, you are getting 23 lakhs. If we have, say, if we double the membership, the amount can get doubled. So that is that is the thing. It is all collected and given. No amount is kept with the society. That is the beauty of the society because we all are members. Right now, I am serving the society as a secretary. Maybe uh, a year later, I will not be there. I will just be a member. So I, and even as secretary, I'm paying the same amount as any other member. So it is by the member of the member for the member. And it is run by our own members. And I'm telling you, our staffs and everyone, what we do is that, you know, people just think that uh, what, uh, I mean, I can have some more term insurance, some other term insurance. So we also wanted to compare with other term insurance. So you see the amount, somebody who is at the age of 30, the best term insurance, this is the cheapest term insurance that one can get is 7,700 for 25 lakhs. And if you remove the admission fee, if somebody is becoming now and paying just rupees 499 for uh, for you know admission and the yearly payment of uh, say whatever 6700 6000 5000 whatever then in that case it cannot be no term insurance can be cheaper than this and plus you have the exit scheme as well and we just wanted to know that you know what is the claim settlement we saw that in most in every term insurance the best uh, the claim uh, settlement was 51% in fbs it is 100% and what we do, we approach our members' uh, family. Uh, family Like uh, last year, one member had died and he had not paid the yearly contribution. So we asked the state representative to contact the members. The state representatives uh, contacted uh, one of these uh, such members' family and his wife told that he is no more. So then he contacted me. Then I told that, okay, let me talk to her. I spoke to her and then I told her that you, you should apply for the claim because your husband was a uh, was not a defaulter. He had paid till last year and this year he died. So you should apply for claim. claim. She applied for claim and then uh, we gave the claim to her. So nothing like that can happen in any term insurance. So these are some of the wonderful feedbacks that people have given. Uh, the, like we are very happy. The family members who have received the money, they are very happy. And uh, you can talk to uh, these family members. They are all very happy. So we just wanted to have we got some mails, so we told that if you are happy, you can send some uh, video clip of yours also. We created a promotional uh, video for the feed of the feedback of the members' family. So the first lady is the one whom we contacted, who was not knowing that her husband was the uh, FBS member. Hi, I am Karpana Chaudhary, wife of Dr. S S Chaudhary, FBS number seven five seven. My husband passed away on fifth May, twenty twenty one. I, as a nominee, I have received a sum of rupees 23 lakh from FBS family. I really thank and appreciate Honorable Secretary Dr. Rajesh Sinha and the entire FBS AIOS team for their support. I am grateful and thanks you all. Thanks. Dr. Rajesh Sinha, Honorable Secretary, FBS AIOS. Respected sir, Mr. Anuj Mehra solved my queries very well. I appreciate his way of working. Thanks. Dr. Vijay Wadur, FBS number 2164. Good evening, Dr. Rajesh Sinha, Honorary General Secretary, FBS AIUS. I am Dr. N.K. Jain, eye surgeon, retired from Government Hospital, ITRC, near Bhopal. I am currently retired and living in Noida. My FBS number is 1869 MP0072. I congratulate to Dr. Sinha and his team for their time and efforts in making this scheme a successful. A special thanks to Mr. Anuj Mehra, who answered so all the uh, queries presently. I'll just give up, uh, in order to you know save time. So there are many such uh, feedbacks that we get. So th this gives us pleasure that you know we are serving our uh, members' family. We try to expedite 
our uh, the payment although we have to take all the certificates like uh, yesterday only i spoke to one of our eye surgeons uh, in uh, telangana and i spoke to him he told that can i give the documents to dr sharad babu in warangal i told okay give it to him he will courier it to the office so we have to do all the office work and dr mohan rajan also knows that we have to do office work but we we try to expedite as fast as possible that we can do and uh, we do direct transfer bank transfer so the money goes directly to their account and just to promote and just to increase the awareness we have also uh, tried to you know improve our work in the social media so we have a fbsi uh, ivs facebook page we have a youtube channel as well and we have now uh, we have a telegram channel in which people do send queries and immediately the staff has been told that if i miss you have to see that that if somebody has a query sort it out immediately and respond immediately so this is something that we are trying to do in order to serve our members so finally i would just just like to say that this society is your own society this fbs scheme is run by our own people you have the ownership of this society you own this society and you have every reason to feel secure so i think this is uh, the best one to join in and uh, i guess the more the membership the more benefit that our members will get thank you very much for giving the opportunity to you know provide this information to everyone i think it's a wonderful talk yeah and yeah. just uh, one query sir we are paying for our death for every person sir uh, maybe in some time uh, fbs can be self sustaining it may have money for interest and other things probably it can pay that amount <laughs> sir, see the in future uh, not but no sir yeah no 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 actually it doesn't work like that what happens that for the interest of the members also because this whatever mortality benefit we are giving it is based on mutuality so we collect and we give right right so no investment in between if investment comes then in that case the society will also have to pay tax and people who are getting money will also have to pay tax this is a tax less money wherein we just collect and give and as far as the collection and the amount uh, you know the corpus is concerned regarding fbs it is not that much that the interest will come that huge amount on interest mainly helps in supporting uh, yes we do pay the members from the corpus because we don't collect before we pay the members first and then collect uh, after at the end of the financial year we collect for the number of deaths that we had last year so we collect later only so whatever amount that we have in corpus we pay from that and then i can collect and put it in the corpus so we don't have that much interest because the amount doesn't remain for that long that is one and number two the corpus amount is only from the admission fee and not from the uh, from the yearly contribution so it is not that high that we will have so much of interest that we will we'll be in a position to pay from that the biggest advantage is that interest part is something which is there because of mutuality neither the beneficiary is going to pay interest nor the society is going to pay interest uh, tax not interest sorry yeah. tax yeah. mohan you can yeah can i can i say something rajesh you able to hear me rohan yes sir yes yeah, yeah, yeah. yes sir yeah, yeah but first of all let me um, compliment uh, rajesh inna and the entire aos fbs for the wonderful work they have been doing personally i would say that because last year rajesh also knows about it before that for babu rajesh and also we worked and got the check before that samba sevara was there when professor vela idam passed away in uh, in tamil nadu in chennai but last year particularly dr shridhar rao and i was personally in contact with rajesh chinna's office anuj mera wonderful work what a feedback i'm getting what i was getting you may uh, it's uh, absolutely there's no bureaucracy at all and no formalities at all and it is made very simple very easy very effective and that is what i full credit to rajesh chinna's uh, office for this uh, wonderful work they have been doing and uh, i feel that more and more members should definitely join and especially when you are given so much of a discount and new members younger members should join this because the normally the this thing is the, the the belief among the people the concept among the people is that they don't want to have the insurance because they don't want to think that they are going to die that is the problem so if you are going to have this exit plan like what the lic is doing every 5 years they pay a premium on your uh, on your primary capital or something like that every 5 years they pay pay, pay pay a good amount like that every 5 years 10 years if you can have something like that back the, the exit plan is something really wonderful rajesh hats off to you thank you sir yeah. uh, i have a suggestion uh, dr rajesh sinha sir fact, i told you in one of the webinars when we had uh, called you as a speaker as a faculty uh, you club this with the aios form the membership form if it is club with it immediately they'll be made aware instead of you doing it separately you can club it with the aios primary membership 
each member who comes in is di- directly aware if ever there is the fbi i was very much there so right when he is joining he'll pay this also simultaneously and one more thing the way mohan has suggested we uh, have uh, something as no claim bonus so if you can keep something like that 100 or 200 less of discounting over a period of time and uh, they see more people will uh, keep joining they, this is a bit lucrative to look at of course it's a very nominal amount which you can give it discounted this will also work in uh, increasing the membership overall membership yeah so Thank both it's one that uh, you know that, that that part of this thing that uh, you know uh, it should be there in the form it has been incorporated now in the form it, it will be written that whether you would like to become fbs ias member or not and if the person ticks that then in that case that person will be approached that okay since you are uh, you you have agreed to join fbs member you have agreed to become a fbs member so uh, this is the procedure and please go ahead and do it so our staff is very much active in that and they do it number one point as you said that you know uh, give some bonus yes we are working on it it's all it, it all works on numbers and absolutely please need uh, at least need 1500 more members because we have done all the calculations absolutely so, 5500 members if they are there or 6000 members are there then we will be in a position to say that people who have completed 15 years of membership will get this much of discount people who have completed 20 years of membership will get this much discount people who have completed 30 years of uh, membership they will be completely uh, made free of uh, payment they will not be paying anything so all these things are there in the pipeline and we are working on it and that is why you know we want to support our members that's why the admission fee has been cut down and we can o- only work on all these these all are there in the pipeline but we need uh, numbers that is the most important thing. yeah correct rajesh i think uh, all the all the insurance companies work on the volume yes. yeah. if you ask vignesh no he will tell you exactly if you have more the merrier for them yeah. because they will be able to pay everything so more i think more people should be encouraged and pulled in and uh, something which you can even make it compulsory also absolutely that's so, what we are i'm trying yeah. to do the uh, tamil nadu autonomic association now so Great. Uh, i'm shooting a mail now to make them uh, compulsory uh, fbs aos members yeah yeah, yeah. that will be great that will be great we will have a webinar also with tamil nadu yes yes we'll do that we'll do regarding that. fbs so that can be done and uh, okay. we have also worked on a lot of things on, on these things like like how can we cut down on the amount that one has to pay so all these things are there but yes it Uh, the number matters suppose today somebody is paying 600 per day and there are 10 debts so he will pay 6000 rupees now if the number doubles and if you then suppose now there are 4000 members we have 8000 members then what we yeah. do is that we can reduce the amount from 600 per day to say 400 per day and increase the benefit from 23 lakhs to 30 lakhs 30 lakhs so all Absolutely. these permutation combination can be done to help the members so that is what we are planning but what we need is that we have to increase awareness and we need more members great we'll idea we will definitely be approaching I think, uh, one way i am uh, rajesh this yeah. covid has been a blessing in disguise in the sense that because people are more aware that something can happen to them after the you no know, this covid true, uh, true. Uh, yeah so before that they were all uh, very cool there nothing will happen to us and all that but once the covid attacked everybody now everybody wants to take insurance okay i think we should encourage more people to come into the insurance wing yeah, yeah. one more suggestion uh, dr ajesh is if Sir. you can have the comparative figures that we are uh, charging so people will immediately uh, uh, jump into your api os what the other companies Sir, have sir comparative Mr. figures are, are yeah we have actually made i have a few more slides but there was positive of that i couldn't put those slides i can show those slides that we do have comparative figures with other term insurance and uh, you know by cutting down the admission fee no now no term insurance can match uh, fbsi yeah, thing, correct and plus the claim settlement rate the best claim settlement rate has been shown as 51% here it is 100% and we approach the family like that lady who was so obliged because we approached her that you please apply the claim so I, I, they are I, our I, own family no they are own members i suggest one more thing you prepare a flyer of all the benefits that you have done what are your plus points are there and pass mm-hmm. it on we in our state society will try to showcase it in a big way Great. sure okay. sir, sure make a sure. flyer what all you said you are yeah. approaching the family members your 100% clear this thing is there so yeah. definitely yeah. push it in our maharashtra being the one of the largest societies we will try and help yeah. you on that round yeah. Sure, sure. Great. Great. We'll do that in uh, okay. TNV. Yeah. Just one okay, query. Okay, thank uh, you. Yeah, just one query. Yes. Is there exit after 75? What is the policy there? 75 no, plus. Ex- <laughs> there is no upper age limit. There is nothing like that. You are secured. You are insured till your life. So that is another difference between the any term insurance 
uh, from FBS. That you know, even at the age of ninety, Dr. Madan Mohan died at the age of ninety-one, and he was till that time he was uh, he got the claim, he got the benefit. Dr. Rishi got the benefit. Yeah, that's a good thing. So, so that that is again a difference between other term insurance and FBS. Amazing, Rishi. Thank you. Sir.